Hello, brothers and sisters. I'm just Joe, no title, and I'm so glad that you joined me for the Lord's Word of God today. And we know that all things happen for a reason, and that is because God shows us who He is. He is Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, and there is no other master of the universe. Amen? Amen. And all things are possible for the Lord. God can do anything. Amen? Amen. Brothers and sisters, before we get into the word, I want to talk about an event that happened yesterday in Israel. A hospital in the town of Gaza got hit with a bomb. A horrible act of violence. And things are going to get worse. And so, brothers and sisters, if you brought your Bibles today, please turn with me to the book of Revelation, chapter 20. We will read verse 4. And I saw thrones, and they that sat on them, and judgment was committed to them. And I saw the souls of those who had been beheaded for their witness to Jesus and for the word of God, who had not worshipped the beast in his image and who had not received his mark on their foreheads or on their hands. And they lived and reigned with Christ for a thousand years. And brothers and sisters, Paul and Peter said that it was an honor to suffer for Christ. Amen. Amen. Today's message is, do you have faith in Jesus? The only way we can be saved is faith in Jesus. There is no other way. Amen? Amen. Turn with me to the book of Hebrews chapter 11. And we will read verse 5. Faith Enoch was taken away so that he did not see death and was not found because God had taken him. For before he was taken, he had this testimony that he pleased God. And brothers and sisters, in the book of Genesis, it says he walked with God. And that means he did the will of God. And that is our goal, brothers and sisters, is to please God and do his will. And if you do that and you have the faith of Jesus in your heart, mind, and soul, you will be saved. Amen? Amen. Now turn with me to the book of 1 Peter chapter 1. We will read verses 6 and 7. In this you greatly rejoice, though now for a little while, if need be, you have been grieved by various trials, that the genuineness of your faith be much more precious than gold that perishes, though it be tested by fire, may be found to praise and honor and glory at the revelation of Jesus Christ. So, brothers and sisters, we must have tests to grow in Christ. Amen? Amen. So now turn with me to the book of James, chapter 1. And we'll read verse 2. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience. I'm reading verse 12. Blessed is the man who endures temptation, for when he has been approved, he will receive the crown of life, which the Lord has promised to those who love him. So brothers and sisters, we all have adversities in life that God allows to happen to test us, to test our faith, in the Almighty and the Son who was sent to die for the sins of all those who accept Him, repent, and give their lives to Him, and are filled with the Holy Spirit. Amen? Amen. So keep your sights on heavenly things, brothers and sisters, knowing that the Word of God is true and faithful, and your rewards are great in heaven. Amen? Amen. Brothers and sisters, your heart must be right with God. You must have a pure heart without spot or blemish, or you will not see Jesus. So when going through these trials, we must always run to God and not from God. Amen? Amen. So turn with me to the book of Philippians chapter 2, and we will read verse 12. Therefore, my beloved, as you have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. For it is God who works in you, both to will and to do for his good pleasure. And so, brothers and sisters, if you believe Jesus came incarnated from heaven, died and was buried and arose for your sins and mine, and you have repented of your sinful ways, brothers and sisters, you have the Holy Spirit in you. And he communicates with you. And that's how he works out your salvation for you. In John 10, 27, Jesus tells us, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And to follow Jesus is to follow Jesus in obedience. But they listen, they hear his voice. Brothers and sisters, if you're saved today, 
You need to listen to the Lord, and He will always guide and direct our path. Amen? Amen. We should think with the Spirit of God. Some have accidents when they decide not to hear God and do what they want to do. People that are not serving God have the spirit of the world, and they do not give glory to God. We must acknowledge God in everything, never taking credit for anything and giving all glory to God. Amen? Amen. And last, turn with me to the book of Hebrews chapter 10. We will read verse 26. For if we sin willfully after we have received the knowledge of the truth, there no longer remains a sacrifice for sins. And brothers and sisters, that sacrifice was Jesus dying on the cross for your sins and mine. Without it, no one can be saved. Amen? Amen. People don't miss the water till the well runs dry. People want to please God and not repent. Not good. You must repent to please God. You cannot use God and get away with it. So brothers and sisters, keep the faith that Jesus is there for us through thick and thin. In the Bible, anywhere where people are being healed, and we know Jesus is the one that heals us, they have faith in him, or a loved one has faith in him. Faith of a mustard seed means that your faith can handle any problem that arises. Amen? Amen. So brothers and sisters, keep the course that God gave you and keep the faith and continue carrying the cross given to you by taking Christ as your master, your teacher, your example. Believe his doctrine and obey him, and we will all be with our Lord and Savior someday for eternity. Amen? Amen.